Alright guys, so first off I'm going to show you how to use a dolphin emulator. Because I definitely have heard some people having some issues with it, and so I just want to make it a little bit easier for all you guys. Um, first of all, let me get this out of my way so I can actually see, make sure I'm what I'm doing. Yeah, so first off you want to go to the dolphin emulator. Um, click that right there. It's that little metal screen. Um, you can choose to download any version you want, but uh, most games have been updated to go with the 5.0.13.603, one that came out just two weeks ago. Um, if you're on Windows 10 like I am, just go ahead and download Windows 10 uh, by 64-bit. It's going to go through, just follow all of it, it's going to be perfectly fine. Um, next off, once you get that all situated, you're going to have it in a file. Or you're gonna to want to create a file so you want to go to your documents I have a dolphin emulator right here just kind of ignore that I haven't gotten around to getting that out of here but um, you want to create a file I just called mine emulator uh, you can call it really what really whatever you want to just you need a file to place it all into so you get in there you'll have it like that create another file just call that whatever you want to as well you're gonna be placing all of your games in here and it needs to be done just like that as well with a file and then inside that file split into two different ones and then one with your games and one with just your dolphin in it. Um, and then from here, once you get that situated, if you want to create a shortcut, just go ahead and right click on that. Uh, you go to new and create a shortcut for it. It'll create another thing right in here that'll have like that little, uh, what's it called? Like that little logo right there. Um, just go ahead and you can drop that one up in this, uh, <clears throat> you can drop that one on your desktop, but make sure you don't take the actual basic one that's right there and drop it on your desktop or else it'll split the files and it won't work anymore. Um, besides that, uh, a lot of people do talk bad on this website. It definitely was bad back in the day. It's gotten a lot better. Um, if you guys use Windows 10 like I do, just go ahead and just use that one. Um, Using this, it's not really that bad. Uh, I have double scan for my, uh, it's gonna download everything in a compressed file. So you're definitely gonna wanna download something like WinRAR or 7-Zip uh, or whatever it's called. I use WinRAR just for the capacity to, once I get it into a file, I can actually check for viruses on it before opening it. Uh, it'll check for viruses. Once it's done, it'll pop up a second screen scanning the files and it'll tell you if there's any viruses there or not. From there, then you can go ahead and extract it. Um, I'll show you that process in just a second. So, when you're on here, one down your game, just go ahead and click on any of these consoles on here. You can click view all, they got a ton more. Uh, yes, yeah, so just go ahead, grab anything you want. They got tons and tons of games here, as you can see on mine. For right now, just because of what I want to play and what I'm playing, I just got the Zeldas, Metroid Prime, Need for Speed, and Def Jam, just because, you know. Um, so yeah, once all that gets situated, go ahead and use it. Some people recommend going through the Dolphin Emulator compatibility sheet and checking what works and what works, or what works and what doesn't work. Um, so far I've been mainly focusing on PS2, PS1, and a couple, or mostly GameCube games. I play a lot of GameCube games. Um, I've also known a couple friends to use the Wii games, and none of us have had any issues on compatibility. Uh, so I can't say anything for the Nintendo 64, NES games, haven't really tried them yet. But I don't assume they would have any compatibility issues since most of them look to be pretty well done. Um, so yeah, once you get everything downloaded, you'll get the normal windows in the bottom. Go ahead and download it. It'll definitely take a while just because downloading them from ROMs is going to take a bit. When you do it this way, for example, in this game, just go ahead and click download, it'll do it all. If you do more options, it will give you a fast option. Whatever you do, don't use the fast option, it's not going to download all the stuff you need to. Just do the slow way, uh, let it let it be how it is, it's the only way to get it through a really good version. Um, so back to where I was going. So say when you get to this stage where these uh, logos right here be all my compressed files, just go ahead and click on one of them, doesn't really matter. Uh, you'll get this window, which is from my WinRAR. Um, I'm just using the tutorial on the WinRAR. I've had no issues with it. There's no real reason to buy the actual one unless you really want to. Uh, from there, you just click Virus Scan, let it scan the files. 
just uh, just for the extra safety benefits because you know there always can be something that happens but I've been doing it this way and I've had no issues with it nothing on my uh, system and I do use Windows Defender in the background so it does tell me when anything goes wrong or anything like that and it's not picked up anything going on at all or even tried to warn me about uh, risky files or anything like that see I just let this go through its process Yeah, and sorry if I'm moving a little slow. I got a bearded dragon in my left hand, so I'm only using my right hand. Kind of why I threw all that up and didn't bother to go uh, actually type in WinRAR. All right, so as you can see right there, got my WinRAR ID and found no threats. So just go ahead and press any key on your keyboard. And then you go to this. I want to click Extract to Documents. For mine would be Emulator. And then make sure you click it on games and then just hit OK and it'll do the exact same screen you saw with the testing but instead it'll just extract all the files there. Um, I'm not going to do that because obviously I already have one and then you would still keep your zipped files but you would also have all your files here. Which just for added show that this does work once you do all of that because I did just download Need for Speed in the Def Jam and so they should be right in here now. Do -do -do. Yep, there's Def Jam right there. So my GameCube ones are working no problem. PlayStation, I gotta go do a little bit more on that, see what's going on with there. But all of my GameCube games so far have been just placing perfectly fine right up on the list. And besides that, that's really it for you guys. Um, from what I saw, the Wii games work exactly the same. PlayStation is the one that I've been kind of testing with, trying to get them to work. So once I figure that out, I'll definitely try to make an additional video just to show how to get them to function the same. But besides that, that's all you really need to know on there. Um, once you get the games up on here, uh, you can just go ahead and like go to your controller. I use this for my GameCube game, just reset everything. You're going to have all of this messed up. So just go ahead and click on it, and then press the button on your controller, go through all of these. Same with these, and I set those over there too just in case. Uh, that's really it for there. Um, for the Xbox controller, you're definitely going to want to use the X input. For PlayStation, use D input. Um, and that's really it for those two types of controllers. And you got your Wii stuff right down here. Um, obviously, your graphics and all that stuff. I normally keep it OpenGL just because I'm not sure which each game wants to run on, so I just kind of keep it there. Then you can keep all of this other settings on here. Got your enhancements for just your graphics, which I've noted just most GameCube games. It doesn't really set it from anything I would have noticed back when I originally played these games, because I do own all of these games. Uh, just don't want to bother going to get the consoles out of storage and then find the games and make sure the games actually still work. And then you got your advanced and all that other stuff. Yeah, so make sure when you go to the pass if it's not working, make sure on your game folder paths you do have that right there. You want to go to your paths, you just if you don't have it, you just click add uh, documents like normal, emulator, and then click on games, leave it there and select folder. That way you can access all the games in that folder right there. Um, besides that, after you do that, all your games should be popping up and all you would have to do is select play, like for example, collector's edition. Um, I don't have my controller on access right now, so this is as far as I can get because I don't can't really reach it right now. But yeah, no, that's really it. Let's see if I can get my arm over there to reach the cord. Ugh. Oh, I just realized my desktop audio is not going through, so you guys are probably gonna hear it through the mic. But it's not like this is a professional video or anything. There we go. Controller's hooked up. Go through all the games and play them like normal. I've noticed I've been getting that screen, but it's not really mint anything. I know back in the day that would have been something bad, but. Let's skip through that screen. 
Yeah, the audio is a little messed up, but I notice I don't get that audio on my headset. I do have speakers in my gaming chair, so that's where I really notice this audio messed up. And it's only in the main screen. Um, my controller doing that is actually just because my controller is messed up. I need to buy a new one. Besides that, uh, everything else functions perfectly once you get it all mapped out. I have been playing this game for a little bit, just kind of playing it off and on, so I am a little bit further, obviously, for anyone who hasn't played this. But yeah, no, everything works the same. You got your movements. Sled dog leaves me alone. Got your A button working, your swords are working, shields, locks, ocarina. Got your items. Yeah, basically everything just works. The only thing is obviously because it is an emulator, you're not gonna be able to uh, you're not gonna be able to just go quit out. So you kinda like even on games like this, you know, you do your basic in-game save and it will save everything to the file so you can come back as if you did have an SD card. But besides that, once you're ready to quit, you kind of just save it and stop emulation, and you're good to go again. And then everything will be saved, which will be confirmed once you save it in the top of the screen. It'll say where it saved it to, so you can access it if you ever want to. But besides that, you are just kind of, yeah, you're kind of just going with it. And so like I said, all these game cubes I got working exactly using everything I use. Uh, once I get the PlayStation 1s figured out and how to get them to function, I will definitely come back and add an additional video to this just explaining how to get those to function the same. And besides that, that is all for you guys. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and just let me know and I'll get back to responding to everybody as fast as possible.